Well, greetings, everyone. Uh, this video finds me at the, at the moment in Paris in the uh, back garden of the Theosophical Society in France at their lovely building. I'm uh, going to share a few things with you from my tour, which has been taking place for the last couple of weeks here in uh, Europe. Started off in England and then have moved on to Helsinki and Estonia. Uh, so, busy, busy time, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So, actually, we started off the month of July. Whenever you hear that word July, you know in the American section it's a very busy time because we have our board of directors meeting as well as our summer national convention. So, this year we had a very good one, and you'll get to see some of the things about that. Uh, but additionally, during this uh, immediately following our summer convention, actually one day later, the Institute of Noetic Sciences, IONS, held their 16th uh, international conference. And it was nearby, and I had been invited to speak on their opening night. So it was an excellent conference with excellent people. IONS is doing some wonderful things. Uh, probably you know that uh, the astronaut Edgar Mitchell had a life-changing and transformative experience coming back from his walk on the moon. Uh, which set him on a path that started the uh, organization IONS and the work that they've been doing in terms of bridging science and consciousness. Wonderful work they're doing. Uh, so a lot of people gathered together, about 650 people or so were there in uh, Oakbrook, Illinois for the conference. Uh, so from there it was on to the plane to England and uh, was there for the summer school six-day event that was held in Birmingham in the UK members from Scotland, members from uh, Wales, members from all over the United Kingdom came for that event. Uh, so very good, over 100 people attended that one. From uh, England, it was across several seas, and then we found ourselves in Helsinki, being taken up to Kravila, the summer home for the theosophical work in Finland. Beautiful place, had a chance to go in the saunas there. Uh, which, of course, there was more to the event than the sauna, of course. But that's, let's not discount the sauna. Even Joy Mills told me, be sure to take the sauna. Uh, you have to respect a country where there are 5 million people in total and 1.5 million saunas. Something about life they understand differently. So I'll get to show you some things about that. But all in all, busy but very productive month. Uh, something where I think we've made some good linkages worldwide, not only within our organization, but also outside, you know, making some of the connections that are necessary for this time that's up ahead of us. All right, so here it is. Hope you enjoy. If you have not traveled this summer, you're about to now. Immediately before the Summer National Convention started, we had our TOS board meeting, and then it was the start and the opening evening. As usual, the National Secretary reported the numbers, and then it was time for the Prayers of the Religions. This year we had a number of uh, stellar people presenting, our own Kurt Leland, uh, author for Quest Books and also a practicing clairvoyant, presented. Uh, he was quite well received. We also had Dr. Cassandra Beaton, who is the uh, President and CEO of the Institute of Noetic Sciences, IONS. We've been doing a lot of things with them recently, and her presentation was very, very good. Uh, we had uh, Dr. Fred Luskin from the Stanford University Forgiveness Project, who has been doing wonderful things, and our own Fernando de Torrijos, who has done so many things with uh, Dr. John kabat in training people in mindfulness. Dr. Albert Amau, Peggy Hubel also were with us. So we had wonderful programs and of course the usual production of the uh, tapes and DVDs was, was done. But it's not all uh, just sitting and talking. Of course we got to sit and eat as well. So we had the formal tea that my wife Lily has been organizing for the last four years down in the dining area. So that was a uh, standing room only, and everyone was well fed. Clean up crew here, seen with Lily. So then it was time for a special event. We had found in our archive some of the ashes of Dr. George Arendale. So we had a formal LCC burial 
of those with uh, Bishop Ruben Kabikting, and then the members who had come for the occasion gathered. Each one got to put a, some of the dirt to cover the place in the Garden of Remembrance. Uh, music night with two very good friends of mine, very accomplished jazz musicians, Joan Colasso and uh, Larry Hanks, who was playing piano. I've known them for many, many years, and they, uh, they did what they do. Wouldn't be convention without fun night. One day after our convention ended, it was off to uh, IONS for their international conference, which was being held nearby. A wonderful group of people who were there, uh, very focused individuals, focused on the linkage between consciousness and science and its application. One of the sponsors this year was uh, Emmanuel Kunzelman and the Green Heart Organization. Uh, Edgar Mitchell, the astronaut who founded it, appeared by video, and I had a chance to speak on the opening night. If you want to see the whole talk, you can find it here. So then it was off to uh, England, a flight to London for the British uh, Theosophical Society's uh, summer school, which was to be held in Birmingham, but we had a day and a half in London at 50 Gloucester Place, the headquarters for the TS in England. Beautiful building, uh, well used, it's lecture halls and it's libraries. Are just, uh, they've been doing this there for about uh, the last 70, 80 years. So uh, here is a uh, present president, Jenny Baker, and past president, Colin Price. Lovely building with many artifacts and beautiful, beautiful work that they've been doing. Janet Lee showed us around for some tourism in our short time there, got a chance to see some of the wonderful sights, and went on a little boat ride, which I will share some of the information. And some of the new buildings, due to their shapes, they've got nicknames. The very tall, sort of wedge-shaped building right in the middle. In the city, uh, they call that building the Cheese Grater. I don't know what they do inside it, I believe it's some sort of financial building. Next day, a few of us took a coach, about 20 of us took a coach up to Birmingham, England for the uh, retreat center where the convention was actually going to be held, the summer school. There were about 100 plus people who gathered there from all over the United Kingdom, folks from Scotland, Wales, all over. Uh, I got a chance to speak about three different times plus a, plus a panel and got a chance to meet with a number of the people who were there. Uh, it was a wonderful event. They host it every year at different locations within, uh, within England. This one seems to be one that they found to be quite nice. So very likely it'll be there again in the future. Here are some of the presenters. And then also the TOS had its meeting. TOS England had a meeting, which I attended as head of the TOS internationally. Uh, international Gathering of Young Theosophists is something that's going to be taking place in uh, Brazil in February 5th through the 10th of uh, 2016. So Rafael here, who is Brazilian, was there promoting the event. Uh, I'm going to be there presenting, and it's going to be an international gathering of young people. So more about that later. Had a day at the Winterbourne Gardens. Here are the two Collins, Colin Boyce and Price. And of course, finally, with president of the English section, Jenny Baker. From London, it was on to Finland, flew into Helsinki, where we were met by Maria Artema and driven two and a half hours to their Kravila summer camp area. Kravila is a beautiful place they've had since the 1930s. Prior to that, they had a, another space. There's a meeting there of uh, allied theosophical groups for 15 years. They've been doing this two times a year where these various theosophical groups in Finland get together and uh, meet and share in a week -long, weekend long event. It's a beautiful place. Um, food, of course, is always a big part of theosophical gatherings. This was no exception. We were well, well fed. Got an opportunity to meet with a number of people from, uh, from different groups and from the TSA and also with young people. Uh, they're a very active group who had just put on something called the Inner Humanity Camp. Wonderful thing they had just done and sat down. They had asked to sit down and talk. So their core group uh, got a chance to meet with them. Very alive, very hopeful for the future. Sauna, if you don't go and take a sauna and then jump in the lake, you're not finished. I am finished. 
So there was music and uh, a lot of talent. Just a sample. Even freestyle rap. From Kravila, it was off to Helsinki again and the Rudolf Steiner School where they were holding a public talk uh, which was uh, quite well attended. Actually a group from Sweden came, Swedish theosophists, 13 of them came and I had an opportunity to meet with them before the meeting, uh, before the meeting started. Uh, my translator was the general secretary of the Finnish section, Mirva Jatemen, and I hope I got it right, Mirva. Wonderful job translating on multiple occasions. Here are some of the past presidents of the section, and also visited their uh, their headquarters, which is uh, Theosophen Sura, which is the Theosophical Society. Beautiful place. Had a chance to meet uh, specifically with members and. Uh, got a chance to field questions and get to know each other better. How do you say hello in Finnish? Hey. 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 <laughs> and finally, we took the ferry across from Helsinki to uh, Estonia, to Tallinn, an uh, hour and a half ride on this beautiful catamaran style boat for a brief tour of the city and then a meeting with uh, a public meeting and then also a meeting with the members there in, uh, in Tallinn. It's very good to connect with the group. I think often, uh, very often, some of our groups feel as if they're a little cut off from the rest of the world. They met us at the uh, boat, where the boat docked, and then we went on the tour of the old city, which is a beautiful, beautiful old medieval style city. Uh, they had the posters for me, Tim Boydy, which means Tim Boyd's talk, uh, I found out. And it was well attended beautiful location, and then in the garden afterwards we finished up with a meeting with only the members. While there I got a chance to give the membership diploma to Estonia's newest member, Merica, and then it was off to Paris for the rest of our tour.